ญี่ปุ่นเกาหลีใครๆก็บินได้ไทยแอร์เอเชียเอ็กซ์ Welcome back to Talking Thailand Thailand from the inside out and outside in รู้ว่ามองประเทศไทยในมุมมองที่แตกต่างระดับโลก Yes ระดับโลกโลก International เขาเขาเขาเขาไประดับโลกนะฮะเราเราโอเค We we are going global ไปกันใหญ่ฮะ This show is becoming more and more popular Due to the fact that we have the best-looking people in the country. <laughs> no, I'm Whoa. not kidding, man. Whoa. I'm not okay. kidding. Okay. This is okay. the place to be. Okay. okay. Me lightning round question. I got a lot of like small uh -oh. questions, like quick answers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, who's your inspiration? Oh my God. <laughs> Or at least like a Hollywood idol, maybe. Angelina Jolie. Oh, Angelina Jolie, strong. Mm-hmm. And sexy. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite actor or actress? Or uh, let's say actor and actress. In terms of acting, I really um, like Dustin Hoffman. I think okay. he's incredibly mm. relaxed on screen. Um, yeah, I think he's brilliant. Mr. Rain Man, Dustin yeah. Hoffman. Yeah. Um, what is the, your favorite movie? That I've ever done, or my favorite movie to watch? To watch. Oh, um, hmm, it's probably Ordinary People. Ordinary People? Yeah. This is an old it's one. It's an old movie, but the acting is incredible. Um, yeah, Mary Tyler Moore. Mary Tyler Moore. Moore. I've not seen that. Okay. What's your dream role? Bond girl. Bond girl. Bond girl. Die now. You could play that. You could play that. You could do the English accent, presumably, right? Yeah, I'll do whatever accent it takes. You could play that. That'd be fabulous. You could be bad in that. Okay. What's the most fun role you've had to play in what? In one of your movies. Um, it was the horror movie Twelve, Twelve, Twelve. I think. Oh, but that's that's graphic. That's it's graphic. Did you see that? Oh one? man, yeah. it's a little bit of it. Okay, <laughs> really? But it was so far from reality for me. It is far from that reality. That it was so fun. I'm like, I'm gonna get covered in blood and kill some demons today. It's awesome. Okay, <laughs> what is the uh, the hardest role, the most difficult role you've had as an actress? Probably jailbait. Jailbait. Mm -hmm. Okay, you still hang out with uh, the you know the the the. the, the The actresses in the movie. Yeah, yeah, we're actually really good friends. Okay, okay. You have not seen it, have you? Uh, I don't think so. I you mean, must, I, Adam. Okay. You must. You've got to see that movie. It's um, a good one. How do you prepare for a film? I mean, you get in. How do you get into the role? What is usually, honestly, people think that you have all this time. I don't know. I mean, if you're, obviously, if you're like Angelina Jolie, then they probably you, you're booked years in advance. But for mm. me, it's usually like two, three weeks. Like, oh, you got to get on a really? plane, because um, they do the casting process. It takes a long time. Um, so yeah, you have very little time. It's it's hard. Usually, I try to um, you know talk to an acting coach about it, read as much as I can. It, it, it is it is hard. You sometimes kind of have to do it on the fly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is a fun fact about you that people don't know? Something that people may not know oh about, gosh, about yourself? Oh my gosh! No idea. Um, you know? I don't even know. I mean, okay, you can think about that. <laughs> you can think about that. <laughs> I like really, really, really spicy food. Oh, like so if you okay. like if you eat some tam, how many say fifty met? Tong met that tisut. I want to be. I want to be. Sipa, you sip. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, seriously. I want to be sweating. So see, Sarah like, is very tight. Me too, tight hair. Tight hair, tight hair. I actually carry a little bag of pikino with me. No, really? oh, that's not enough. I'll throw so in even a few when you in, that's 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 how you feel at home in LA. You can yeah, do that. Yeah, I I need that. There's a Thai wow. restaurant that actually just supplies me with pikino. Yeah, I want to ask you that. Where <laughs> nice. do you go for your Thai Thai food fix uh, in Los Angeles? There's so many places. I love Jitlada. Um, That's a restaurant over yeah. there. Yeah. Really? That's a restaurant. Um, I love Kuo Thai. There's so many. And they're I mean, all it's, it's quite a scene over there. It's a huge scene. You get into like the food scene in LA. It's a lot of really great, you know, yeah. restaurants, yeah. expensive ones, oh, and amazing. all little ones. Yeah, I really try not to because obviously then you have to spend more time in the gym. But um, <laughs> yeah, there's a great food scene there. I, okay, this is my one question. Uh, you know, when you're walking around that city, I mean, uh, what is uh, when have you been the most impressed? I mean, who have you run into? That has kind of impressed um, you. Like, you I had I was at a dinner party and I had this whole conversation with Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman! Oh, wow! And I had no Oldman. idea it was him. You didn't like know it was idiot. Gary Oldman. I think I was a little tipsy, but I just I just said this <laughs> is an incredibly Oldman. charming guy. I'm having a conversation. He's incredibly with. He charming. Looks so Gary familiar, Oldman. and I was like, yes. I was thinking, did he teach me? Was he my English teacher? Like <laughs> he, he looks he like looks, everyone's teacher. He looks so familiar. He but he was the uh, the police uh, commissioner in Batman. He's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Gary he's, he, well, a lot of people say he's one of the best actors in the world. Amazing. I think I yeah. fully agree. I yeah. think he's a fantastic actor. Yeah, Gary such a Oldman. great personality too. Really. Yeah. Okay, I've been, I've been, I've been following um, 
uh, your personal life. It's mm -hmm. it, it. People are saying that you are like lucky in love now. You're yes. you're happy with your, your <laughs> love am. life. I am. Yes. And then I hear on these shows that you are planning to get married. I am. I am. Really? Mm -hmm. So you're tying the knot. I am tying the knot. <laughs> This is happening. It is happening. Now, Thai, you know, if you're an actress on a Thai show, yeah. you know, the manager would call you up and say, you know, postpone yeah. the thing. Wow. Because, because here you got to be single to be like a top star kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what, how do you feel about this? So you, you're, you're happy with everything going? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think that you have to pretend because those girls that say they're single are not single. They're not single. <laughs> <laughs> so why lie? You know, why yeah. lie to the public? If you're in a relationship, then I think it's just important to be truthful. If you're single, then you're single. I mean, there's no need to cover up an image. I don't think it's going to lessen your popularity. And if it is, then those fans aren't really your true fans. Like, But you're, uh, her significant... Sato. <laughs> Sato, yeah, you're very good. That's a good Amen to that. that. But, uh, her, oh, here he is. Her, right here. Yeah, yeah. Her significant other, his name is Jared, right? Yes, Jared. He, he is a director. Yes. Uh, still, he's not directing you in Kickboxer, though. No, no, no. Now, I, I'm, are you going to be able to work with him still? Yeah, I mean, we work together on Jailbait. We work together on, um, he directed and wrote Jailbait. And um, does he plan future roles for you as, you know, he's going to, okay. If yeah. you get married, he yeah. will be your husband. Yes. Now, uh, will you still allow your husband to direct you? I mean. Absolutely, yeah. He's an amazing, <laughs> you know, apart from Jared as my significant other, and I love him and everything, but he. He himself is just an incredible director. He's an incredible writer. He's so creative. Like even if I wasn't with him, I would die to work with him. So mm. I just feel incredibly lucky that, you know, I have a little bit of an edge over other actresses because he's my so. boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> But, um, this, I, I, no, I you're doing. This, you, I find adding this attitude right. to be very cool. So actually, you're quite high on him as a director. You think? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so taking absolutely. aside like yeah. the subjectivity of being her, his yeah. his girlfriend. Yeah, he's honestly. incredibly professional too. Like when we met on a movie. The movie 12, 12, 12. I had, I was obsessed with him from day one, but he was so into directing the movie. He didn't even look twice at me. I kept mm. kind of giving hints, like, "Hey," <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, "Okay, so this shot." Uh, he was just yeah. very professional. Like he didn't really, I didn't, I had no idea. So we can look forward to perhaps even more collaboration. I really hope so. Yeah, if he if he hires me again. <laughs> so no, because you know, oftentimes you know when people get married, it's like they, they start having arg arguments over yeah. like insignificant little stuff. Yeah. But you, you uh, but overall it's a it's a positive working relationship. Yeah, we have a really good um, working relationship. Yeah. I think that's really important. Yeah, sure. All right, all right. That's good. Um, may I ask when about when will uh, you guys get married? I think I mean both of us I think feel the same way. We don't really want to make a big huge spectacle wedding. That's not really it's certainly not the way I feel and I think he kind of feels the same way. Um, so it's probably just going to be really private and uh, you know, not uh, a big here or over Vegas, there. Vegas run? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, like, <laughs> that might be uh, America. I'd be I mean, down with that. Will it be in Thailand or? It's probably going to be in America. I'm not sure yet. Because um, what you kind of had to do in these days, if you're like a, if you're a celebrity with yeah. your stature, you kind of have to do like a thing here as well. The one for the Thai press to have something to go to. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I won't do is I, I don't believe in having three weddings. Like I'm going to get married here and yes. then I'm going to get married there. I'm going to I think that's kind of setting yourself up for some weird karmic failure. Like you should what, just get married once. What? Uh, but OK, let me as a girl, I mean, this is a good question. I mean, do you uh, do you have an ideal type of wedding, you know, ideal type of wedding, meaning that you want a summer wedding in, in Venice, you no. want a you want a fall <laughs> wedding in in the East Coast. I mean, what, what is your idea like ideal like scenery? I mean, location for me it's not about the wedding it's about the marriage i think you can have an incredible event in venice when you've been married for 40 years then you have the right then people can come and bring you gifts and money because you've earned it but what have i done i met this incredibly handsome guy fell in love with him it's been three years i've achieved nothing i mean how hard is it to this fall is, in uh, love wait, wait. Wait, wait. you are not wait, wait. Yeah. this is uh this is too this much is the ideal <laughs> because... answer ideal this answer is a... for yeah no, that was is... awesome okay <laughs> are you being are honest more girls, no i'm being more... completely why truthful why are more girls like this <laughs> it's not you have a big wedding you, you get all these gifts and then you divorce two years later okay so right? this is uh the most expensive the, the... party of your entire life yeah. is your wedding this is this is cool <laughs> Okay, the word is, you're not being modest. This is no, you. No, no, I'm being absolutely oh, truthful. Like, right. I, I just, I, 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 my ideal wedding would just be to throw on a dress and go to the beach and just get it done, you know, oh. I, I don't think. Oh, all right. Be, be okay. the, the, very, uh, the very cool <laughs> and modest, uh, Sarah. You were going to ask her a question about roles. Oh, well, well yeah, I was, I was just thinking, I know that you've said since you've been in America, you, you feel much freer. Yeah. Sort of yeah. In, in terms of the roles you can take. Yeah. 
Um, and I was wondering, what is your opinion about uh, particularly Lacon yeah. in Thai? I, my perception is that you generally get two types of women. Mm -hmm. You get the bad girl who's very sexualized, pretty terrible person, mm -hmm. and then you get the good girl mm -hmm. who is very unsexualized, desexualized, mm -hmm. and just very sweet and lovely. Yeah, yeah. And for me, it's really boring. If yeah. nothing else, I think it's not very good to have characters, female characters that aren't very complex, number yeah, one. Absolutely. But number two, I find it very boring. I, mean, I was wondering what was your perception I also that? think it's very dangerous for Thai women in general to have those idols growing up. Like, I want to be the good princess girl, and if I've screwed up a couple of times and messed up, then I have to go being the bad girl. Yeah, I there's think. no in-between. There's no in-between. Yes. So I think part of the reason you asked me, like, why I put these sexy pictures up and why I do a sexy movie like Jail Bay, I think deep inside, I think it's subconscious, but part of me feels like, I want to be an inspiration to Thai women and show them that it's okay. You can be sexy. Yeah. You can take your clothes off. You can have more than one boyfriend, obviously not at the same time. But <laughs> you can date guys and be sexy, but still be sweet and nice and yes. a good person. This, you know? this is and the that's, message that's that what I'm to trying be, uh, to do here. Delivered. Yes. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Standing ovation. Yeah, I think we have found a new host. <laughs> we have. Oh, seriously, can don't go back. <laughs> just, just work in Thailand on Talking Thailand with us. No, this is amazing because we, we have all of a sudden forgotten about all the other female hosts on the show. You know, we oh, love all we of haven't. You. We, we haven't. love all we of you. Love you. Love you are watching, I know. Okay. No, but this is a great point. It's like. Every woman has a little bit of sexiness in of, her. And there's nothing wrong with that. And they want to explore that. It's, it's not being bad. So the dichotomy of good girl versus bad girl in Thai soap operas is, at the end of the day, very unrealistic. It, it, it is. It forces an unrealistic expectation upon mm -hmm. girls. And it's so unflattering. If you turn on a lacon at a random time, there'll be some woman screaming or getting very emotional. And it and it's just you know it, it depicts well, women as being not, unreasonable. That's not just in the in the soap operas. That's actually in the real news. <laughs> yeah, but you know. life is art. Yeah, life. But that's I'm saying that maybe because they say, oh, this is how women deal with things, and so then they reproduce that in real life. But that's not so. So what, in this argument, in a way, it, with what you're doing, you know, showing more of your body and taking these challenging roles and and exposing yourself more, you are still, you know. A Thai girl. You can be absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. It's not like you have to deny that part of your identity. Yeah, no, I'm still me. I'm still who I was 10 years ago. But mm. I, I just feel like if I can change one girl who's looking at me saying, oh, she's sexy, but she's still cool. Like, she's mm. not, you know, a horrible, jealous... She doesn't go jealous, out and kill people. You yeah. know, nang cha or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe I could, maybe she can be inspired and be like, I, I, I can stand up for myself and, you know, I you, can be a little bit sexy. I can wear a bathing suit. You can you wear know? a bathing suit, be hot, but not be jealous of yeah, other people's not, relationships. Yeah, not be the husband stealer, yeah, but you can still be sexy. things are not related. <laughs> 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 you don't have to be the husband stealer. <laughs> we, are, uh, we are entering into <laughs> New territories, <laughs> new vocabularies on the shows. Yes, but that was a husband stealer. This Jealousy, is a... uh, <laughs> husband stealer. Home, home wreck is a good okay, one. Okay. Home we, we gotta, oh, we, there you go. In the, see, in the next segment, we'll kind of summarize all of you these. You can talk all about husband new stealer. Home wreck. Um, so, um, so you finished shooting mm -hmm. the movie. Kickboxer. Yes. When yes. do you fly back to LA? I think by the time this airs, I'll probably be on the plane. So. Oh, okay. So, and you'll <laughs> yeah. be there for several months now? Yeah, I'll be there for a couple months, but I'll come back probably in like November to see my parents. Okay, so you, your parents still uh, miss you? Yes, very much. You come back like once or twice a year? Just yeah, I try to come back three times. You see, she's still a good girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. Thailand. Her parents made the right decision. Come, Thailand, you, you the best sexy. country in the world. Yes, yes, you can be yes. sexy and still love <laughs> your parents. Yeah, <laughs> 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 we thank you very much for coming on the show. And you know, you you pay a Thailand a visit next time. You, you can you. visit our Absolutely. show. Absolutely. You can do a cameo <laughs> and <laughs> come <laughs> <be> on <laughs> the show. And Kun Sara. มาลากุนเลนะครับแขกรับเชิญของรายการ Talking Thailand ในวันนี้ We'll take a short break เดี๋ยวพักกันสักครู่นะครับเดี๋ยวกลับมาครับ